Chair now recognizes the gentlelady from New Mexico, Ms. Stansberry, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to welcome all of our witnesses who are here today, and especially those of you who traveled to be here. Um, and I really do genuinely welcome the opportunity to hear from our communities, to hear from our local officials, but I do have to note that it is very odd to be having what appears to be a New York City county and city uh, council meeting in the chambers of the House Natural Resources Committee. Um, I mean, I think it's notable as well that all of the members who sit on this committee from New York did not ask for this hearing and actually support the city and the state's request to use this space. And I do want to clarify because there's been some misinformation propagated on the other side of the aisle this morning that it was in fact the city of New York that requested this lease. It was not the federal government. So I understand we have a federal oversight role here, but it was the city of New York and the state of New York that have asked to use this emergency space, which, by the way, has been used previously as emergency shelter and for other emergency purposes, including during Superstorm Sandy. So I think it's very disingenuous for folks this morning to be representing this as somehow uh, a, something other than it is. There's also been a lot of misrepresentation of the mayor of New York's uh, statements and a uh, and a sense put forward, including this uh, ridiculous sign back here, that uh, the mayor made these comments with respect to the use of this emergency site, and that's just factually untrue. But I think we all know here that this is not what this hearing is about. It's being held the week that. Our colleagues, unfortunately, across the aisle have been unable to pass a federal budget and in four days will shut our government down. And this really is a publicity stunt. I mean, look at the posters in the room. When I walked in here this morning, the staff were putting up these posters. This is not about the people of New York. I have great respect for the people of Brooklyn and the people of New York. This is a humanitarian crisis. This is a serious immigration issue. We do have a humanitarian crisis happening right now. There are thousands of people coming to the United States right now. I represent a border state. I represent the people of New Mexico. And we know that we have to search for real solutions. But if this was an actual federal oversight hearing on immigration solutions, we'd be in a different committee for one. And two, we'd be talking about actual policies that would solve the problem. But that's not what we're talking about here. In fact, the budget that's going to be brought to the floor in the coming days would slash the very programs that help address asylum. I mean, it's ridiculous. It truly is ridiculous. And it's not even a real budget. It's not even going to pass. They're bringing a budget to the floor that's not going to pass, and then they're going to shut the government down. I mean, it's, it's truly outrageous. It really boggles the mind. And so I do want to say to my colleagues, if you want to work on immigration reform, let's work on immigration reform. We need bipartisan immigration reform. We need a pathway to citizenship. We need an asylum system that works. We need border security that is humane and appropriate. We need to address this crisis. We need you to act. But you got to keep the government open first. And we need you to come to the table and actually work on bipartisan Im immigration reform. Stop blocking it. Stop bringing false solutions forward. And stop using the people of New York for a publicity stunt. And stop demonizing the people who are coming to this country to seek asylum. New York has always been a place of immigrants. Every single country in the world has a community in the city of New York. It is the most international city. My own family came through New York City in the 1850s to escape famine in Ireland, like many of your families did. So if you want to be serious about immigration reform, you want to be serious about the people of New York, you want to be serious about helping people across the world who are struggling with violence, with famine, and economic desperation, then come to the table and be serious. But don't use this committee as a political stunt. Don't use this committee to dehumanize people coming to this country. And don't use this committee as a farce to try to make the people of New York think that you actually care about them, because that's not what this is about. 
So I thank you for the opportunity to speak this morning. And with that, I yield back. The young lady yields back. 